Dum da da dum da 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 dum. Drink a beer, everybody. Hey, everybody. It's Doctor Tangent back with another beer short. Uh, this time, you know, just a, a quick intro into what goes into making a beer, what the process is of making a beer. Oftentimes, when you hear people talking about uh, some aspect. Uh, of the brewing process, and sometimes it can be a little cryptic. So I thought, hey, let's do a quick one on what the beer making process is all about. Uh, so as you probably know, beer is made up of uh, some type of fermentable grains. Uh, number one, uh, in, you know, most popular ingredient for brewers is barley, um, but other grains can be used, um, wheat, corn, uh, rice, uh, you know, pretty much anything that has, uh, some starches in it that can be converted to sugars and then eaten by yeast to make alcohol, uh, can be used to brew a fermented beverage. Those grains, uh, go through a process called malting, uh, which is essentially, uh, once harvested, allowing them to germinate and actually start growing a little tiny bit. Uh, and then they stop that, uh, through various means, um, drying and, and, and uh, um, baking uh, to different degrees. Uh, but the, the grains, uh, when you hear some, something referred to as malted uh, grain, uh, it means it was allowed to grow a little bit and then stopped. Um, those grains are then uh, milled, uh, essentially uh, run through a machine to crush them a little bit. Uh, this cracks them open, breaks them open, uh, and makes it easier uh, for the starches inside to be accessed through the rest of the process. <clears throat> Pardon me. So after milling, the milled grains are uh, put into a, a vessel uh, with uh, water at a very specific warm to hot temperature. Um, this is what's known as the mashing and or loudering process. Uh, this process allows um, enzymes, which occur naturally in the malts, uh, to start acting on the starches that have been cracked open and revealed uh, and allows the enzymes to start breaking down those starches into some simple sugars. That's very, very important for the brewing process. Um, once that mash process is done, uh, you might hear um, some references to the mashing process uh, when people talk about, uh, oh, the beer is very dry or the beer it finishes very sweet. Uh, what they may be referring to is a result of uh, the mashing temperature, the temperature that the mash is held at while that process goes on. Uh, results in greater or fewer fermentable sugars. Um, and we'll talk about fermentable sugars in a minute uh, being produced in that mashing process. Uh, but from there, uh, the mash is drained and what's taken from the mash is called wort, W-O-R-T. Uh, it's, uh, if you ever were around when somebody was making a beer, wort actually smells really, really good. Um, uh, it smells like cereal, it's uh, not really oatmeal, but like uh, if somebody made a hot like farina or really dating myself, but a uh, hot cereal. Um, and if you taste wort, it's very sweet, uh, not like sickeningly sweet, but um, it's definitely sweet, grainy, for lack of a better term, malty. Uh, Oh, by the way, look for a, speaking of tangents, uh, also look for a video about descriptors uh, and how beer is kind of analyzed and broken down. Um, but it, you, the wort is very sweet. From there, the wort is uh, put into a boil kettle uh, and boiled uh, for a certain amount of time, usually generally about an hour, sometimes longer, some beer styles shorter. Uh, but it is in this process, anything bad, any little bacteria or whatnot that could be in there get killed. Uh, and um, hops are added at different times during the boil uh, 
uh, in order to start to affect a balance. A beer is always a balance between the sweetness of the malts and the bitterness uh, of the hops. There's a balance that's achieved. Uh, depending upon the style of beer and what the brewer is trying to achieve, it may lean heavily one way or may lean heavily the other way. From there, uh, the wort is uh, drained off to be cooled down. Uh, this could be in a whirlpooling process where the grains are actually swirled around. Uh, there may be additional hops added at this time. The wort is brought down to what's called pitching temperature. Uh, pitching uh, refers to when the yeast is added to uh, the beer. Uh, it's been said that brewers make wort. Yeast makes beer. But what yeast is, they're, they're a bioorganism, they're a bacteria uh, that gets uh, added to the wort uh, and the yeast start to eat those simple sugars that were produced in the mashing process. Uh, depending upon how much simple sugars you've made and the type of yeast that you use and the temperature that you have your fermentation held at, um, the yeast may eat a lot of fermentable sugars. They may eat uh, a decent amount and leave some. Uh, you know, that's where also you start to get beers that are more dry, where more of the sugars have been converted. Uh, versus something that ends sweeter uh, where some of the uh, residual sugars are left in the final product. Uh, but the important part is that yeast eat the sugars and yeah, they excrete alcohol. Um, so yes, when you're drinking beer, you're drinking yeast. Uh, but that's what we want. But that fermentation process uh, might last a week or two, uh, until the yeast have eaten all the sugars that the yeast are going to eat. Uh, and you're basically left with, uh, uncarbonated beer with a layer of sludge at the bottom. Uh, from there, uh, you siphon off the beer, uh, for conditioning and carbonation. One of the other byproducts, uh, of yeast eating sugar, uh, besides alcohol, is carbon dioxide. This is the, during the fermentation process. This is vented off, but in bottle conditioning, uh, you might buy a beer that says bottle conditioned. This is what it means. Uh, they've added a little bit of sugar, put the beer in a bottle, sealed it up, and let the yeast sit in there and eat that little bit of sugar. And that carbonation being stuck in the bottle is forced into the beer. And that's what makes it carbonated, it makes it sparkly, bubbly. Um, or it could just be force carbonated uh, in a keg or a bright tank, depending upon what level of manufacturing the manufacturer is, is uh, using. There you have it. That's the soup to nuts quick tour of the brewing process. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you're thinking. Uh, let me know if something's not clear. Let me know if there's some other tangent you want me to get off on, and I'll take care of it. Thanks a lot.